welcome back to the channel and this is an update on the class of 1957 build and well you already see the bodies of the Chevy Cameo and the Ford Fairlane painted I still have to foil the bodies but I'm going to show you here some detail I uh, have already done for example here we have the interior of the Chevy Cameo still missing all the detail painting on the dash that is far away for, from completed but I have already done the basic painting on the interior and on the seat of the Chevy Cameo this seat is still I'm still missing here the gas tank that's not painted yet I am very lucky because both cars could have black and white interiors and that made things quite easy or at least easier here we have the boat engines painted this here is the Chevy small block of the Chevy Cameo that is fully painted of course all the peripheracals are still missing because I, I didn't paint them yet here you have the 312 Ford V8 and she'll have the AMT provided the Elder Light 4104 barrel and the black valve covers and I already done on the computer a pair of Thunderbird special uh, decals for the valve covers what else here here we have the Chevy Cameo frame that I, I first built the frame up to this point where exactly up to this point here where you are you, you're seeing with the left springs, front and rear axle, uh, tie rods, uh, steering box, and this assembly I painted as a unit, more or less uh, like they would do in the factory. If I had left to after painting to install the leaf springs the axle and the same here up front I wouldn't have very very strong glue joints because if I used uh, a little more glue I would have a really sloppy job and anyways I would have to touch up where I scraped the the paint so the glue would be effective when I assemble all this and then paint it I just avoided all that headache and the exhaust system will pass here normally and the engine will install here normally the wheels will install and then the body so when you are building a kit think about what will make your life easier and what will make your results easier and better not only what the kit manufacturer says on the on the instructions the instructions are just a guide you don't have to follow them uh, as a supreme guide of how to build your kit here we have the Fairlane Dash 
I was going to make a, a decal for the instruments but I'm quite satisfied with what I did with paint here and for me it's quite nice and this paint I'm using here is semi-gloss black TS18 by Tamiya it's acrylic that I airbrushed here we have the Fairlane rear seat it was masked with Tamiya tape this semi-gloss white here is actually uh, Tamiya TS26 pure white that I decanted and airbrushed on the on the seat very lightly just to make it semi-gloss to give the leather effect and here on the cloth I used Tamiya uh, flat black acrylic airbrushed the front seat was done in the very same manner here on the front seat the real problem is to eliminate this seam here and still preserve the upper texture of the cloth because there is a seam that runs right here well preserving the cloth texture is impossible you have to sand it down so what I did was I tried to recreate the cloth on the top of the seats with a little Tamiya putty and with a hard brush you can see the pattern is not quite uh, similar to this I couldn't achieve exactly what was molded into the seats but is a lot better than to be just smooth And here we, here we have the Ford Fairlane frame. The black here was all brush painted, and I used a Model Master uh, gloss black. And on the underside, I did the same. Here we have the the Ford uh, primer then the overspray of Inca Gold on the sides and the frame itself was brush painted with Model Masters a black gloss black acrylic the exhaust system and the gas tank were brush painted with testers uh, flat steel and a male and the gas line and the handbrake cables were detail painted the best I could with chrome silver to represent uh, anodized steel for the for the fuel line and for the for the steel cables here so the underside of this car can can be made uh, detailed like if it were a modern kit with multi parts like for example the reveal but it will require a little more work and here is the interior tub of the Ford 
It's painted, same. It will be foiled here on sides along with the door panels that you see here. Here we have a little Tamiya tape because after I had the door panels and interior tube finished what I did I I shot the door panels and interior tube with a protective coat of flat acrylic uh, varnish and why did I do that because I'll have to foil here the interior of the doors and the interior sides and I know that acrylic paint can be pulled off by the glue of the foil so to avoid this problem I use this uh, flat varnish and it's acrylic it's a product by a Brazilian company called Acrylex. You mix with a little Windex like you do with your regular uh, acrylic paint. If you don't know this trick, now you know. You don't have to buy those expensive dilutants. You just have to have a little Windex and you can dilute any acrylic paint with that and the paint will be great and will airbrush great and you will save quite a lot of money well guys the double build is is going along quite nicely I'm quite satisfied with the with the speed even though I'm not quite myself yet as due to my ear infection I can I can't hear right. Among things I can't do right is to talk on the telephone because the people on the other side would have to scream out loud. And sometimes I scream out loud without knowing. And this will last for a more couple of weeks. So, what can I do? Well guys, I'll try to give you another update with the Cameo and with the Fairlane bodies fully foiled before the final assembly. And I hope to make a separate video of each car with a very, very comprehensive slide shot of each car. So stay tuned. Be safe and have a nice week. And I would not forget my two assistants that are here with me. My cat Lenin. Say hi Lenin. And my new daughter Svetlana. So, again, bye-bye guys.